Hi, welcome to part one of two tutorials that I'll be doing on just a basic dynamic setup in Lightwave. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start out in Modeler. I'm going to create a couple different models that we're going to have interact and layout once we set up the dynamic scene. First thing we're going to do is you're going to go to Create and go to Disk and then press the N tab on your keyboard. We want it to be on the y-axis and basically x we want it to be 5 meters and z 5 meters and on the y we want it to be 0. Okay, that's perfect. Hit the tab key. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually going to modify this to kind of look like a half dome. So down in your left hand portion of modeler you'll see points, edges, polygons. Hit polygons. Highlight that polygon. Hit B because we're going to bevel. Again hit the N key. And let's see, um, let's shift it inset. That's the only thing we're going to do. Just hit 3. We'll see how that looks. Um, Let's go 3.5. Uh, actually, it needs a little more than that. How about 4? And maybe even 5. There we go. Up oh, too much. 4.5. Okay, that's perfect. So close that at, hit the tab key. And actually, what we're going to do is we're going to delete that little center section geometry. And it should look something like that. So go ahead, make sure. You're in points mode again at the bottom. Right click, draw around that so everything's highlighted. Hit the T button, press Control because we're going to want to constrain this. And then just go down, you know, this again, just how you want. I'd say go down about um, just under one meter. Again, hit the Tab button. Let's take a look at that. Okay, good. So what the, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create more geometry down here near the hole. And you'll see why in a second. So go ahead and highlight those points again by drawing around them. We're going to hit the E button because we're going to extrude some geometry. Then press T. Again, you're going to constrain. Pull down a little bit. And you know, again, maybe like a 500 millimeters, half a meter. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to kind of shrink that a little bit. So hit your Modify tab up at the top. And let's just stretch it down. Make sure you're sort of in the center of the grid. And we'll do this by just by uh, eye. And that looks good. So um, let me see. OK, good. And let's hit the E button again. T, and then Control, Constrain. Let's drag that down because we're going to make it a little bit smaller. So again, Modify, Stretch. Do this by eye. Bring it down a little bit. And that's about perfect, actually. All right, that's good. And then next thing we want to do is we're going to want to create a barrier at the top here. Give it that more of that half dome look that we're looking for. So highlight those points at the top just like that. Again, hit the E button. T, control, again, constraining, and drag that up. And let's uh, drag it about that high. That's good. And let's take a look at that. Perfect. Hit the tab button just to see what it's like when it's a subdivide. OK, that's exactly what we want. OK, so to kind of add some more geometry, go up to multiply. We're going to subdivide this. So subdivide, make sure it's in metaform mode. That's all you have to do. Press OK. OK, that's good. Do it one more time. And let's look at that. And that's exactly what we want. OK, so let's surface that just or just create a surface for that. Hit Q and we'll just we'll just call it one. And uh, oh, actually, go back up to the surface editor. Let's one. Let's double side that again, so it just looks like a whole 
piece of geometry. Okay, that's what we want. So let's go into the next layer and just click the bottom of the first layer so you have that dome in the background. And let's create the actual balls that are going to bounce around in this dome. So go over here. So let's create ball. Press N. Oops. Never want to say again. Let's press Tab. Create ball. There we go. And we're going to want these to be about 200 the ball 200 millimeters in size and all right that's perfect we want to type tessellation segments 4 is perfect press the tab key again and let's go down and look at that uh, we might need that go to modify we want it to be a little so smaller we want it to be able to fit and that's about perfect right there. Again, once we set up the dynamic animation in layout, we want these balls to be able to drop down through the funnel and fall out. And you'll see what I mean once we set up the second part in this tutorial. Hit tab and let's hit the T button, kind of move this up like so. And we kind of want it to be centered on the x axis, and we want it in the positive area of the x axis. So let's um, multiply this. We want to clone it. We're going to create, we want to create three more balls. And since it's on the positive x axis, let's see, just on offset press one meter and that's yeah, pretty good actually I'm gonna undo that you can press Z I'm gonna clone it and make it a little the offset a little small it's smaller so 700 millimeters okay that's perfect and let's press the T key bring that up a little bit okay well we've set up everything that we need in modeler so go ahead and save it save it is give it any name you want. I'm going to just call it test, which is what I do. And part two will be coming uh, in a moment.